the Octopus 3D print is finished. Uh, the Ender 3 printer has a heated bed. So I've let the uh, bed cool down for about 10 minutes uh, to see if we can get the uh, Octopus off easier. Sometimes I'll just come back and check in an hour or whatever and we'll go from there. So. There's the octopus coming off the bed. Need to loosen up some of the tentacles a little bit. This particular model, the person who designed it, has designed it so that if a tentacle breaks off you can actually print another tentacle and replace it. So this print was a nine and a half hour print and this is the results. The settings I use in the Cura Slicer when I'm printing smaller parts like octopuses, rattlesnakes, uh, dragons, right on the bed, I put my initial layer, the initial speed is at 8.0 millimeters a second. And uh, I also have found that changing the Z hop, uh, so I, I click the uh, Z hop when retracted and then only overprinted parts. And I set the Z hop to 0 0.6 millimeters. When I've had it set at uh, anything lower, I still seem to have the uh, nozzle still will bump parts uh, when it goes over them. So I've been pretty successful, you know, having my bed real level and uh, using a Z hop of 0 0.6 millimeters. And I get pretty good bed adhesion and going with that rather than doing a raft.